Hi friends, so today I will finally be listening to Taeyeon's first Japanese EP album called Voice. I have already reacted to Voice, the music video. Um, now I will be listening to the other parts of the album. There are six tracks on this album and I know Turned and Burnt was released days ago but I haven't listened to it yet. I'll be listening to the whole album right now and at the same time picking out my favorite song from the album. I have high expectations for this album, one, because it's Taeyeon, two, because their Japanese discography never disappoints. So I have high expectations for this album and I know it will be a good one. I mean, she already did voice and it was a really good song. So yeah, speaking of voice, I'll be skipping that because I already heard that. So I'll be starting with I Found You which is the second track of the album. It is 3 minutes and 51 seconds long. I found you 3 to 1. It's giving me country vibes. Come in. I think it's come in. Chorus. Okay, I, I like the chorus. easy to remember. I don't know, but it has the same vibe with voice, honestly. Or is it just me? I mean, it makes sense because it follows voice. But it kind of gives me that vibe of like, you know, discovering yourself. Or like, this, is a, this feels like a song that's like, deserves a music video that's like out in the open, like outdoor music video. The, the bridge sounds different from the whole song. I know. Okay, so far I like the song. Even if it's somehow like a generic Taeyeon song, I like it. And do you hear those background vocals? See, do you hear that? She's like singing in the background. Okay, that was a good song. You know, Taeyeon's voice sounded really good. Like the blending of her vocals in her songs are really perfect. I want to listen to this with my earphones because I really want to hear her background, her ad-libs during the last chorus especially. I also love the bridge part by the way. Okay, next song is titled Horizon. It has the same length with I Found You. They are both 3 minutes and 51 seconds long. Let's play. It's giving me under, this, under the sea vibes. Sounds very tropical. So far the songs feel like a good summer drive song. I'm, I'm actually listening. I'm actually paying more attention to the background. I like that cute drop. But I'm like really paying attention to the background vocal because I love Kayon blending. Okay, I don't I think she's gonna mention Horizon in the song. Feels like the thing that will be like repeated for the song is falling in love instead of Horizon. So I think Horizon is like me. It's like hidden somewhere in the song. They added something to the instrumental. I'm sure. Feels more upbeat now. It's not the it's not the hardest drop ever. It fits the song. It still fits the song. I want to know what this song means. Is this like falling in love on the beach? I'm not sure. Because I don't know why Horizon is the title. The only Horizon I can think of is Horizon, you know, the beach, you know, the view of the sea. I'll be reading the translation of this later. This part sounds really good. Her high note. I like that. I like that. I like. That. I thought she was just gonna be like e and end it, but she went high. Okay, that song was really nice. You can tell it was very easy to sing to. Um, I did not hear the word horizon, so I'm gonna have to search the lyrics and look why this song was titled Horizon. But it's a very good song. I liked how it sounded very tropical, very summer-ish. Even if I don't know the translation of the song, I kind of have a feeling it has something to do with that. <laughs> the next song is Vanilla, which, which by far I'm the most excited about. It's the second longest song in the album. So yeah, let's play. 
Sounds like a sexy song. Sounds like a sinister song. I really like Tan's Japanese though. We're building to the chorus. Okay, that did not drop. Okay, we're still building. Okay, it's English. Okay, it's a chorus. But she's saying vanilla in a weird way. It's, it kind of gives me the same vibe with Mystery, where, Ta where Hyoyun was like, mystery. But it's okay, I like it. Okay, that was a very short chorus. I was expecting her to repeat vanilla again and again. I like that part. So far, I like this song. Remember how excited I was for this song? I'm still excited for it. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's not the drop. <laughs> I thought it was the drop. I forgot this had another, like, pre-chorus. Hey, it's English. Vanilla! Okay, she did not repeat vanilla again. Vanilla, I mean. Okay, I really love her background vocal. You don't know how much I love her background voice. I hope she repeats this more in the song though. It's a really good hook. Okay, she didn't repeat it again. It's a different part. Please repeat vanilla again. She did not. <laughs> okay. I really would have appreciated if she like sang vanilla again and again in some parts. I mean, it's a, it was the part that, you know, I, I love the best about the song. Um, it had weird drops where you know it, it felt like it was going to the chorus but it wasn't going there i'm okay with her saying vanilla that way it was the same it gives me the same vibe when hyoyeon sang mystery when she was saying mystery instead of mystery it's okay to me i just wish she repeated vanilla more in the songs but it's okay i still love the song i think that's my favorite song by far next song is turned and burnt will be my first time to listen to this uh I was released days ago, but I tried my best not to listen to it. So yeah, let's hear Turn and Burn. Okay, it's a fast song. It reminds me of Up and Down. How, like... So far, this is the most upbeat song for the album. I can tell that was the part that will be repeated for the whole song. The la 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 la. This song sounds like it can be... In her something new album. She has the same swag vibe. I like the instrumental too. This song gives me angst, you know? It gives me the same vibe with Baram Baram Baram. Like it can be like it gives me the same swag key type of day on. Okay, we're slowing down. That was a really good sound from the instrumental. By the way, I wanna see this live. I haven't seen any of the fan counts yet, by the way. Okay, I'd be lying if I tell you that didn't remind me of Badam Badam Badam. I mean, not it didn't sound the same, but it had the same vibe, you know? The, that swag type of Taeyeon vibe. I like it. it. So far, that was the most upbeat song. And it's also the shortest song from the album. It was a good song, honestly. It was a good, it was a really good song. I felt like it could fit in with her something new album. That and Vanilla are by far my favorites from the album. And voice, of course. But yeah, those three are like up there. So last song is um, single, so it has to be a special song because it's a title over Japan tour. Where the last let's listen to the song, signal, play. The intro sounds like it's a movie. Okay, it's a ballad. So we're ending the album with a ballad. I mean, besides voice, Signal and I Found You are like the only ballads from this album. So I think it's a good mix of different types of songs. I like that part. Okay, that's a signal. That's a title over there. This feels like I'm the greatest. Her background voice again. I'm speechless for this song. 
sounds good in a way, but I can really appreciate Tayon's voice okay, in the bridge. So far, this is the song that the tune I cannot piece out yet. Like, I cannot remember the tune in my head yet. The voice sounds really good. It's a good ending song. Did she, she, did she just speak signal? Is this like the ending song of her tour? I'm not sure. Oh, she said it again. Okay, so that was the last song from the album. It was a good ending song, by the way. It was a good ending song for, you know, if you started out with voice, listening to it, being hyped up with the other songs, and then just ending with a, a really... Um, laid back song in a way i like the album it did not disappoint especially vanilla and turned and burn um those were my favorite songs by far i would love to listen to horizon again and search up its lyrics because i'm very curious why it's titled horizon so yeah um by the way if you want to support taeyeon in the um in the japanese charts uh taeyeon fan site um has done a uh, tutorial on Twitter on how you can buy the song on Japan on iTunes Japan and how you can support her and put her up on the charts I will be linking down the tutorial below um, basically it just requires you to buy a Japanese iTunes gift card for you to buy the album um, on iTunes Japan for it to be counted on Japan's charts you can also pre-order the album physically i'll be linking all the pre-order links down below the whole album is now out um, you can also watch the music video voice i'll be linking everything down below so yeah that was my reaction slash review of taeyeon's voice ep her first mini album so yeah bye bye hugs <laughs>